Hey friends, it's Amy. It seems like you guys liked my June favorites video with the random smattering of goodies, so I thought I would do the same sort of thing for July favorites. Let's kick it off with some fan mail. I love receiving mail from you guys. It's so fun. This envelope is so pretty and beautiful. I opened it to see this card, which is gorgeous as well. Catherine Bode wrote me a really sweet note and included a photo of herself. So thanks so much, Catherine. It's so fun and inspiring to see what you guys make. Also, this necklace, you're probably wondering what it's all about. It's from Sense of Style and it's a floral statement necklace and it's only $19. The link is below. Speaking of happy mail, I got this awesome citation. It's from my friend Olia Schmidt. You might know her better as Paint Paper Studio on Instagram. She does awesome drawings. She's super creative. She lives in Canada and she's actually come to the studio before. Super talented and I'm so excited about using these stickers. They're really great quality and I'm so happy to be putting them into my planners and random scrapbooking projects coming up. The only problem is I haven't really had time to play that much in the studio. I've had this planner society kit, which is adorable, and I haven't even opened it yet. So I had to just quickly open it to show you because I wanted to check out the washi tapes and they are to die for. So I cannot wait to make something with these. Here's another thing that I haven't used quite yet. Uh, my mom actually got these for me on one of her trips, and I can't even remember which one because she's been to so many places recently, but we are obsessed with owls in our house, so she got me these cute little owl stickers. And she also picked up these pink paisley uh, leaf or feather paper clips, and I think they're really cute too. One of the things that I have been able to work on, but I didn't get to video it, was this little project using these waffle flower dies. Now, if you look really closely, the paper cuts it, that it makes are just so amazing. I think it worked really well with cardstock and on pattern paper. Sometimes it's nice to just be able to create a project, and even though I don't know what we're gonna use it for, it's nice to have a base so that we can put other pictures on there, whether they're for clients or for us. And uh, I tried to do the high, which turned out fine, and I tried to do us, but then I ended up just taking off the letters and just gluing them onto this card, which looks cute too. We have a new piece of art in the studio, and it's a map created from Graphomap. You can customize any location, and they will send it to you even framed, which I just love. So this is where we live, and this is where the studio is. In the studio, I like to have little snacks. So it's nice to have them readily available, and I've been getting these graze boxes for quite some time, and this popcorn is so cute. I love the packaging, and it's a perfect serving size for just me when I'm by myself. Here's a coupon code so that you can claim yours for free too, which is also below. A friend of mine sent me this, which is just adorable. It's a little clip, and I have no idea where she got it or anything, took the little MK logo off of my Michael Kors bag and hung it there. I mean, this is Hello Kitty in a little tangerine outfit. Does it get any cuter than that? I can't remember the last time I asked to pull out my camera in a business meeting, but I was with Curtis Estes, the author of Your Life by Design, a step-by-step -step guide to creating a bigger future. And I asked him to sign this because he was just one of the most inspiring people I have met. And I think that, you know how you come across those souls who leave you feeling so excited about life in general? Well, he's one of those people. And he just released this new book, Family First. It's out on Amazon and I'm excited to dive into it. We got this box from Munch Pack and they send you a random assortment of all kinds of snacks that are hard to find in most places. They, these Japanese ones were really tangy and cool and such a strange sensation when we ate them. And some of them reminded me of when I was a kid and you'd see these cool things like these caramel bars were so delicious. We loved the octopus sour ones though. Those were definitely our favorites. We are really big fans of gummy candies in general around here, but I really like choosing something healthy for Jack, so I got him Bitsy's brain food. Wanna eat them all? You wanna eat them all and then I build one? That's silly. Are they delicious? This one goes here and here and here. Everybody has cookies. Yay. 
I know I'm not going back to school, but if I was, I would be all about these UB fun erasers. Jack is obsessed with these little erasers that we got for him while we were in Miami and then from the Japanese store. But these are so cute. There's a pineapple and a cupcake too. How cute. Another cute thing from UB is this multi-pocket pencil case. And I love it because you can probably keep put those cute erasers in those pockets right up front. Another thing that I'm loving for kids' gifts is this mini supply kit. I think that we're going to try to give these away for Jack's goodie bag for his birthday coming up. Also, these pencils from I Am Other. This is Pharrell's new collaboration with UB. Just inspiring, motivating quotes on regular number two pencils and you can never get enough of them so there's 18 in here and they come sharpened forgot to mention in my last video that this is a thankful shirt from sweet teas designs if you've been following me for a while you know that i went to barcelona and i met laura Bayora, and she makes these awesome washi tapes well it just so happened that my mom picked up a set for me this blue flamingo washi tape while she was on one of her trips. I believe she got it from Whimsadoodle. How cute are they? The best part to me is that you can actually put another piece underneath it and the design lines up perfectly. She has an Etsy store, so I've linked that below as well. How cute, right? Speaking of flamingos, I designed two different sets, one for Whimsadoodle and one for San Diego's Paper Tails. And I'm using the flamingo from Whimsadoodle right now. And I just wanted to show you how I stamped this little post-it note from Bandeau really quickly. And I think it's one of those things where if you don't have that much time to make a whole creative project, sometimes it's nice to just carve out a few minutes to do something small and simple like this and then have it to use for a future project. So here I'm just stamping it down and then I thought I would try out my new markers these are the Zig Clean Color markers, and here are the ones that I'm using. I just took the first five pink ones, basically, from the pack, and I decided to get a little fancy and try to color this in. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just like experimenting and trying different things. The fun thing, too, is that I designed a stamp set that we have on our site right now. It's limited edition. It's the same flamingo, but it's actually flipped the other way. So if you have both the Whimsadoodle set and the one that's on our site now, Summer Love, then you can make the flamingos kiss. So I got all fancy and then I decided to just color it simply um, with another version. And this is the side by side. And I actually like the simpler version better. Go figure. That does it for July favorites. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'd love to hear from you. What were some of your favorite items? And do you like this mix of random home, crafty, creative, food, Jack, JC, all that kind of stuff? I would love to hear from you. Oh, and I'm still wearing my favorite lip color from the June favorites by NYX. I'll get you more cookies. Okay.